designing parts in the context of an assembly is a powerful tool. You can easily create parts that fit together perfectly and work as they should without having to take copious measurements and go back and forth between editing your parts and editing your assembly. In Onshape, you can even create relationships between parts that move, and when a design change occurs that means you need to update those parts, you decide when and which parts to update. That's why we call it Managed In Context Editing. Having the ability to design an assembly in multiple positions opens up a lot more possibilities, like creating linkages and mechanisms. This looks like a simple example, but creating the final link between the steps and the back leg is not a trivial undertaking. Make it too long or too short, or get the pivot positions wrong and the whole thing locks up. There's an infinite number of solutions, so how can you quickly find the right one? Let's take a look. The first link was created in context, so you can edit that part studio to add more links. Start a new sketch on the face of the existing link, and create a line which represents the new link. Use circles to represent the pivot locations at either end, and you can use the pivot holes on the other link to make them all equal diameter. Add a coincident constraint between the end of the new link and the center line of the other link so that the pivot position can slide up and down, and then you can use the slot tool, which is ideal for creating links, especially during concept design. Now here's the first part of the trick. You need to reference a fixed point on the back leg so that you have a measurement you can adjust. The top of the foot is just as good as any, so draw another construction line and add two constraints, a midpoint constraint and a perpendicular constraint. These two constraints will ensure that the other end of the link is always in line with the center of the back leg. Now you have all the variables modeled, you can complete the link part and move on to step two. Create an extrude and select new so that a new part is created. You can then use the sketch you just created to blow a hole through the other link so you can assemble the parts together later. Now here's the second part of the trick. Go back to the assembly using the convenient button at the top of the screen. The new link does not appear in the assembly because it has not yet been added. Move the assembly into the closed position and create a new context for the link. You can edit the original sketch and add as many references as you like to this new context. That's one sketch referencing more than one context. Now all you have to do is repeat the steps you did before and create a line from one pivot point and another line down to the foot on the back leg. Add the two constraints as before, midpoint and perpendicular. And now here's the final part of the trick. Simply make the measurements along the back leg equal and the length of the link equal by using an equal constraint. Now you can see the infinite solutions as you drag any of the variable pivot points. Every single one is valid, so you just need to decide which is the most important length to measure. One of the other benefits of managed in-context editing is that you can see the other components in the assembly while you are making the edits. So in this case, you just need to make sure that the new link does not collide with this crossbar. So simply add a dimension, the entire sketch goes black, and you've locked down your design. Now you can go back to the assembly and add your new link. Return the assembly back to its open position, since the part was created in that context, either by dragging the parts or using a named position. When you insert the new link, it will appear in the correct location. Before you do anything else, you need to add the pivot location in the back leg by creating another context. You can use the face of the link as a sketch plane and use the hole on the link to create a circle. Then simply extrude remove in both directions to create a hole through the entire part. Now when you go back to the assembly, you have all the necessary features created in all the parts. You then need to just add a mate or two to make sure the link will behave as expected, and then your linkage design is complete. The folding steps tool folds up beautifully.
only in on shape.